Now to a Target 8 investigation into the case of a Grand Haven woman who's living in fear of deportation. It's been a decade since sex traffickers smuggled 14-year-old Kayla Roberts into America. Roberts spoke at rallies all over the state today, including one that just wrapped up in Grand Rapids. Immigrant advocates say that Kayla's story shows how President Obama has broken his promise to reform the system. Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker took Kayla's case to the federal agency that decides who can stay and who can go. Before we left China, the smugglers told me that we can't run away from them because they know people out here too and they can find us. A decade ago, after Kayla Roberts' mom died, her father, she says, sold her to smugglers, known in China as snakeheads. She was 14 and to her father was worth nothing at home. There was like a bag of potatoes there and he said you're not even, you know, the potato worth more than you do because at least, you know, they can feed people. What can you do? I have took care of you for 14 years now and it's your time to give back. We are blurring her family photos, including the picture of her father that she cut out and taped back in because she fears smugglers will come after her. And we are not using her given Chinese name or the name the smugglers gave her for the same reason. And here you have a, uh, a girl who was brought here. Uh, her father basically sold her to satisfy a gambling debt, uh, sold her into basically what amounts to slavery, uh, to work in the sex industry, uh, the, the most despicable thing you can imagine. The journey, she says, led her to Mexico by plane with 29 other smuggled Chinese children and adults, then into the U.S. through San Diego. She says the snakeheads created a passport with a new name. Uh, they say, this is you now. But before she reached the East Coast sex trade, San Diego police arrested her and three other girls in a van. I was scared. You know, I, I was just, you know, I was sitting in the van shaking. I didn't know what, you know, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's happening. That led her to a center for undocumented children in Chicago and a phone call to her father in China. There's no home here for you anymore. And there's two ways. There's two options if you ever come home. You know, one option is um, either I will kill you because there's no home for you here anymore, or I would just give you a bottle of medicine and you can take care of yourself, just kill yourself. The smuggler, she says, called her at the center with threats. Because for them, she's a commodity. It was Bethany Christian Services that brought her to a foster family in Grand Haven, and she has flourished. Near perfect grades at Grand Haven High School and lots of friends. <laughs> She persevered through, obviously, through tough times getting here. Um, but once she was here, she wanted to learn English, get top grades, take the hardest classes we could offer here at Grand Haven. And, um, and she did it, and she just had an incredible drive. Kayla volunteered with her church to rebuild homes after Hurricane Katrina, to work with poor children in Kentucky and in New York. She got married more than a year ago to Seth Roberts after he got out of the Air Force, a man she met in high school. And you said yes, why? Because I love him. <laughs> and in a few weeks, she will graduate from Western Michigan University with honors. For nine years, Detroit immigration attorney David Kelsch has fought to keep Kayla in the country, but he has been repeatedly rejected, the last time in April by the U.S. Court of Appeals. Because as a parent, you always want to help your kids. Yeah. Hmm. And we've tried. I mean, we've, we've followed every... We have the best attorney, immigration attorney. He's fabulous. And we followed every avenue he sent us down. Her last hope, he thought, was here at the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Office in Detroit in an Obama administration policy known as prosecutorial discretion, which allows the agency to pick and choose who can stay and who must go. But he says a lawyer there turned him down. A memo from ICE gives a list of reasons to deport under prosecutorial discretion. On top of that list, posing a national security risk. You know, <laughs> right? No. <Nope>. Serious <laughs> felons. I have I follow every single law they have tell me to. Known gang members. Nope. Didn't I can't even drive. I can't go anywhere, you know? <laughs> but unfortunately, prosecutorial discretion has been very rarely exercised in the last year that it's been in, on the books. ICE numbers released in April show the agency has so far reviewed nearly 220,000 pending deportation cases and has allowed more than 2,700 to stay in the U.S. indefinitely. 
Kayla is now 24. She can't legally work here or get a driver's license. So you've got no country? No. Nope. The only way she can become a U.S. citizen is to return to China to get permission from that country, something that could take years and that could, her attorney says, put her in danger from the smugglers, her father, from China. I'm a considered as a traitor to China because I left there um, illegally. Even though you were smuggled? Mm-hmm. She was 14. We think of her and think how we could never imagine sending her. Uh, so why would we turn our back on somebody like that who has so much to offer us? It, it just it doesn't make economic sense. It doesn't make sense from a social perspective. Certainly not from a, from a, a perspective of, of what the United States is and what we stand for. That's, that's, you know, we're better than this. An ICE spokesman would not confirm that his agency had denied Kayla's request for that so-called prosecutorial discretion, but he did confirm that Kayla must first return to China if she eventually wants to become a U.S. citizen. He says the case is still under review, but that Kayla's deportation will not happen immediately. We're continuing to tra track this case and this issue, and for a breakdown of some recent cases where ICE has allowed people to stay, go to woodtv.com. I'm Target Aid Investigator Ken Colker.